guys, how's it going? So, I would say that the worst, or at least second worst, one of the worst things about yo-yoing is finding yo-yo music. Now, for like the 1% of people that don't know, yo-yoing is all about freestyles and competitions, and when you compete, you have to have music in the background. So, if you want to go inside a competition, you have to find yo-yo music. And let me tell you, that is a mission in and of itself. And this is especially bad for me because I just don't like to use songs that were that were popularized by another player. But that essentially leaves me with no options. You can't build a freestyle until you find the song. You cannot practice your freestyle until you find a song. You cannot submit your song until you find a song and go and get a hundred dollar fine that you could have probably spent on yo-yoing because you submitted your music late. It it's tough. And you know what? I'm I'm not the only one. Like there are players that bitch and moan all the time about how hard it is to get yo-yo music, and because it's true. In fact, like this video if you've ever been personally victimized by by having to choose yo-yo music. See? Hopefully this video has more than one like and you're not alone. But today's video is not a rant. This is a video about solutions. How do we fix this problem. And what I'm going to share with you today are three tactics that basically allow me to choose plenty of yo-yo music ahead of time. And this was a tip that was shared to me by Evan Nagal um, quite a number of years ago. But I've, I've added a few things to this to make it even easier for you guys. And actually, while, while I'm on the topic of Evan and music, he released a new song. Um, it's, it's a pretty nice song. You guys can, can take a look at that in the, uh, the description. Yeah, shout outs to Evan. Now before we dive deep into the tactics, we need to figure out what music are you looking for. And the best way to do this is to just get inspired by other players. What I would do is I would say like, alright, who, who are some players who have used freestyle music that I've, I've really liked? So, you know, alright, let's, let's, let's take this, alright. We, we've got Gentry, he's got, you know, he popularized Razor Sharp, okay. I like that song, but I can't use Razor Sharp because Gentry used it. So we're gonna find something similar. Iori Yamaki, you know, he popularized, I think it was like a Krella song where it's called like Alone Together and you know, it like, everyone knows that yo-yo song. I, I like that song, but again, I can't use that because he used it, but we're gonna find something similar. And who else is a, a player that likes to use EDM beats a lot? I think Kieran Cooper, he uses a song called Laser Beam. I think Iori might have used it beforehand, but anyway, it, it's an, it's like, you know, it's got that vibe, it's fast, it's electric, it's got a lot of beats. Okay. So now we've got three songs. Now for those of you who don't know the song names, it's Boom Boom and Boom. All right, now let's get into the tactics. There are three major platforms that I use to find yo-yoing music. Now the one I use the most um, is Spotify. I would highly recommend getting a Spotify premium membership. Now this channel is not, I wish this channel was, was like endorsed by like, but anyway, get a Spotify membership account. Okay, now if you're not willing to do that, don't worry, we've got two tactics coming up next, but this is the way that I think is best and the way that is gonna be the most efficient. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Spotify. Boom. All right, now I use Spotify on my phone. There's also a desktop app that you guys can use that if you're not comfortable with it. Um, but I just really like syncing it up to my phone because then I can just like pair it up with my AirPods and I can listen to the music and I can play it and replay it. It's super, super convenient on your phone. I would highly recommend you get it on your phone. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first create a playlist. So overall, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a playlist with the three songs we selected before, and what Spotify is gonna do, it's gonna find songs that have like a similar construction element to them, that, that sounds similar, and it's gonna feed those to you in an automated radio based on what you put into it, and that is gonna be how you find your next original yo-yo song. So we're gonna go create playlist, I'm gonna call this EDM yo-yo beats. Yeah, all right, that's cool. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go and add the song. So click add songs. And then Razor Sharp was one of the songs we agreed upon, so. All right, we're gonna add that. The next song, Alone Together. Boom. Last one, which is Shock. Laser. Ugh. All right. Okay, cool. Now, as a as an aside to this, you can also scroll through the songs that are going to be similar to the song you just added. And this is also a great way to find yo-yo music. So, um, you know, there's, there's a few songs here that are like... 
That sounds kind of yo yo to me. I'm going to add that in as well. But but that that's like kind of the first way, but we're not going to do it through there. All right. So now we've got our playlist EDM yo-yo beats. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit these three buttons right there. And then we're going to go down and we're going to hit go to radio. Boom. All right. Now what Spotify has done, it has got those songs that you've selected in there and it's going to create a list of songs that, that are similar to what you put in there, but aren't the same. And it's going to allow you to discover new music. What I like to do is I like to get a pair of headphones, favorite energy drink. And I like to just put it in and like listen to new songs as I yo-yo to it. And I'll like skip through like five, 10, 20 songs and just get into the rhythm and find a song that you like. Ooh, feeling this? Oh, and this is a Takeshi song. So, yeah, sometimes an added benefit of doing this is that you'll basically find songs that other yo yo's have used just by putting in other similar yo-yo genres. And it's really convenient sometimes. And you'll be like, oh, that was the Takeshi song that like everyone's been using. And you know, you can go then ahead and, and do that. But you guys get the idea, right? So Spotify is a great way to do it. I would highly recommend you do it. But the drawback is, is that if you don't get a Spotify premium membership, you can't scroll through as many songs as you'd ultimately like. So here's another way. Now, the next place is SoundCloud. Now, the method we're gonna use from SoundCloud is quite similar similar to what we did on Spotify, but the main difference I see with SoundCloud is that SoundCloud is um, a place where a lot of up-and-coming artists are. So you might be able to find songs that are kind of obscure, kind of, you know, aren't really made by someone super, super popular, so it just makes it a little bit more unique. So this is how I'd recommend doing it. So you go in, and let's say you, uh, you want to look up songs similar to Razor Sharp. So just type in Razor Sharp. Um, Hopefully, <laughs> it knows what it means by razor sharp. All right, so, um, yep. All right, and then what you want to do is you then want to click into the song. Okay, boom, you're in the song now. And then what you can take a look at is this part where it says related tracks, and you can click view all. Now, these are tracks that are related to razor sharp, so you might be able to find a cool song here. So let's take a look at a few of these. Not really feeling the first one. This isn't bad. <laughs> what? You know? With SoundCloud, you can't quite add the, the multiple songs in there to find songs that are similar to that subset. But you can do it with individual songs, so you could, I could put in the, the other songs in there and find related tracks to those and maybe find out something that way. So that's another way you can discover new music. Now, the last way, and I've, I've deliberately left this for last because this is probably the way you guys find music right now. I know it's how I used to find music, and this is via YouTube. So again, put in Razor Sharp, boom, and then click into it like that, and then you'll find Razor Sharp. Now, this, is, this was the tip that Evan gave to me all those years back, and he said one way to do it is you find someone else's song you like, and then you go into YouTube, type it up, and then look at the related songs. And as you can see, there are totally like related songs here, other than, you know, mixed in with a few of my subscriptions. Stuff like this, I can click into that, and you can see I've clicked into these a few times already. Ooh! Whoa! Oh, 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 yeah. All right, you guys get the idea. And that's how you get music via YouTube. So I've outlined three ways to get music, but it all starts with figuring out what kind of music you want, all right? Figuring out who, which plays inspire you, which music you kind of want to replicate, what kind of genre of music you want to yo-yo to, and then you can go put it through the three machines. So you can put it through Spotify, you can put it through SoundCloud, you can put it through YouTube. So what I want you guys to do is now that you've like understood, you've learned these concepts, I want you to now go and apply them, take 
action. Go into Spotify, go into SoundCloud, go into YouTube, and I want you guys to go and use these tactics and go and find a yo-yo song that you haven't heard before and post it down below in the comments. It's also going to allow this comment section to be a place where other yo-yoers can go and find yo-yo music that they might jam to, that they might use for their next freestyle. So I want this video to cure the disease of finding yo-yo music forever. Like this, share this DM inside your like yo-yo group chat and be like, yo, this is, this is totally the end. This is... This is how we're gonna find yo-yo music from now on. We don't, we don't, we don't need to, to suffer anymore. <laughs> but that's it from me. All right, any comments, questions, criticisms, post them down below. New yo-yo music, post that down below, and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.